teams at the end of the qualifying period qualify irrespective of zone and then the top teams from each of the zones qualify and then there's this rather complicated individual adjusted olympic ranking to the top two from the european zone qualify for that I should mention that that's uh, Sandro Bazadze, uh, Matthias Jabo from Germany and Georgia, who is going to join them in the individual tournament. Enver Ildirim off the mark in this gold medal match. This is some start from the athlete from Turkey. We've got a spurious white light coming up on the box. You might not be able to see it in picture, but uh, you can clearly hear the beep from the box, as it's called in fencing. Do get these uh, technical breaks in fencing. White light on the uh, Ilderium side. With all the technology in the sport, it is uh, no real surprise that every now and again a gremlin creeps into the system. Here's a geeky fencing stat for you Tokyo 2020, the fencing venue was the venue that had the most screens in it across all the sports at the Olympic and Paralympic Games. So next time that comes up in a pub quiz, you'll know the answer. Well, the technicians out working at uh, Teodosiu's end of the piste. And a switch of body wires. Very nifty little switch of body wires. They connect the, the new one to the end of the old one and pull it up through the jacket because the body wire runs underneath not just the silver jacket that you see but the fences wear a, a, a multi-purpose uh, jacket underneath that a white jacket that uh, serves as the major uh, protection uh, that's needed in case a, a weapon breaks and that you're hit with a, a broken weapon the safety in fencing over the last few decades has uh, increased dramatically these uh, composite jackets that they wear now are lightweight. In the days when I used to fence, we actually wore Kevlar, the stuff they used to make blades out of, uh, sorry, sails out of, and uh, it was very heavy, very hot. Now, much more lightweight. But a challenge from Teodosiu. I think he's already used one of his videos and burnt it can't confirm that because the referee goes off the video pretty quickly and they're also they're doing it a lot more uh, of their own volition it looks like Teodosiu has definitely called for the video on this occasion hit stands I think Teodosiu may already be out of video appeals Ember Ildirim picking up the blade. 
as he approached his opponent. Two phase attack, luring out the counter from Teodosiu and then and finally Teodosiu is off the mark. It's fierce, it's fast, and it's furious. It's Mons Kleber at its very best. A first attack from Ildirim misses, and right of way switches over to Teodosnu. Ildirim calls for his own video. I think he's got a little bit of a shout here as well. The question is, there was a, a double stamp of the front foot, and the referee may have interpreted that first planting of the foot as the, the end of the attack. Yeah, so it was. It was given as attack fouls. So now Ildirim loses a video. Well, we go to the break, and it has been not quite one-way traffic, but not far off it. Enver Ildirim leading the charge and has uh, quite a big lead. But don't be fooled by that. In Sabre, athletes can get on a run of hits, and uh, perhaps the break has come at a better time for Julian Teodosiu here. Gets a chance to talk with his coach, who will not be in the bubble, not be consumed sitting inside the mask thinking oh no what is going on here my chances of paris are disappearing in front of me the coach is there to say hey hold on a second this is what you're doing wrong this is how to change it get out there and let's go for it this fight is not done the thing is at the moment the dominance both in the middle of the piece and outside of the middle the two key areas in saber is being won by Enver Ildirim. He's winning in the middle, and if it goes out of the middle, he's taking both power cost and a pack. Now, they both step into the middle. Does Teodosnu stop? That is why the, the referee has gone to the video of his own volition this time. He started slower, the Romanian, but does he stop? Yeah, so there we go. Eldirim definitely stopped. His first attack was definitely no. Teodosiu picks up the right of way. Teodosiu picks up the blade. And this is how things can change so quickly. Eldirim calling for another video. I am not sure this is a good idea for the athlete from Turkey. There was a meeting of the blades. He's saying, well, I went for the blade as well. But the stronger beat, the more attacking intent was from the Romanian. And he's getting himself right back into this match. Ah! It stands Roman Berata. Consulting with the video referee for this fight, Pascal Cantan, Austria and Canada, in the lineup for the officials for this one. Just starting a little bit earlier. Turkey with the first hit on for this second period. Yeah. Steps in, slows down almost to a stop in Ildirim. No intent shown, Teodosiu. One slower step and then straight into the attack. Off the line again and in the middle, Teodosiu. He feels that the step away gave him the opportunity to nick the right away, but I, it just didn't feel like that. Certainly not for the referee. Back at the video again. 
looking at a replay of the hit in slow motion and at full speed. Referees tend to look at the uh, action again in full speed, and it was a good call from Teodosiu on this occasion. Gets the turnaround for the hit. Did break Dirium's time and is back within two. Long attack. Well, the referee's going to go and have a look at the video again here. It looked to me like Eldirian picked up the blade and landed the attack. But uh, Dosky thought he'd done enough with a power of repost. Not the case. It was what we all thought, but good on Baruta, the referee, to go and have a quick look at the uh, video. Such is the importance of this match. Well, that's uh, an error of judgment from Teodosiu. His attack failed. He immediately stuck the line out, but the right of way was with Ildirim, and he did nothing to give it away. Tries to counter the sky hook or stop cut the Takia athlete. But the attack went through right away this time with the Romanian. Came into the period five down. Now just three down, but Ildirim four away from booking his place at the Olympic Games. Again, another attack off the line. It's always going to be given to Enver Ildirim. I'm surprised that a man of such experience in Union Teodosiu is making this mistake time and time again even if he feels the referee is not calling that particular hit correct he's been consistent and it's up to Teodosiu to change his fencing got to be at least four of those now that have gone Il Dirham's way and to, for me I agree with the referee that is the attack from the Turkey athlete Multi-phase attack this time, showing what he's got in his toolbox. Two away. What is going through his mind right now? Just needs two hits, and he's confirmed as a Paris Olympian. Goes looking for the blade this time. You saw that hand seesawing in and out. Il Dirim, Perdosiu, eyes open, saw the opportunity and landed his closing hit. He is not going to give this one up. A little bit more complicated, that one. But uh, the referee clear with his decision straight away. And then Baruta calling the hit for... Turkia, Ildirim, just one away now. Back left. Easy one, and there's only one light in the box, but uh, also an easy one to call in terms of the direction Ildirim was going in. And another attack. Well, now Ildirim thinks he's picked up the power of post. The coach is on the piece. They are celebrating. They'll have to wait for the decision. Now, does that go into a closed line from Teodosiu? Does it go into a blockout from Ildirim? The referee is looking at the video. Ildirim still celebrating. He thinks that he's picked that one up. And it could be one of these big sweeping circular parries that does the job for Enver Ildirim. There it is, confirmation that it was indeed a big sweeping power post that's seen Enver Ildirim of Turkey over the line and he's booked his place at the Paris Olympic Games.
That moment of joy sealed for Enver Ildirim. The 28-year-old based in France will be going to the Paris 2024 Olympic Games winning a tense thriller against Julian Teodosiu. Heartbreak down the other end of the piste. But unbridled joy here for Enver Ildirim. We get final confirmation that Enver Ildirim from Turkey has made it through to Paris 2024. He'll join Sandro Bazadze and Matthias Zabo, who qualified through the individual ranking system for Georgia and Germany. Turkey have another fencer in the mix at the Olympic Games.